Hi friends, I'm Cynthia and it's great to see you back today. All month long, we're talking about how God made you and how much He loves you. Our memory verse this month is a beautiful reminder of how much God loves us. It says, nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. How awesome is that? We don't have to be afraid because God's love for us is so big. Are you guys ready to sing and dance? Let's worship and then listen to a brand new Bible story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. There we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Just going over the blueprint plan for my latest project. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> it's a skateboard ramp. My neighbor asked me to build one for his son. But before I build anything, I always make a plan like this one so I'll know what to build step by step. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Now, a queen needs a castle, right? So, hold on one second. There we go. Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Now, this is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. 
In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that the king should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know, but the people Haman wanted to get rid of were her friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Show me your sad face. Well, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. He reminded her that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! <laughs> Way to go, Esther. God had a plan for Esther. And God has a plan for you too, because God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. That was an awesome story. Just like God had a plan for Esther, He has a plan for you too, because He loves you so much. Let's pray to our God. God, thank you so much for having a plan for Esther, and thank you because we know that you have a plan for each and every one of us. We know that plan is perfect because you love us so well. You are so good to us, God. Thank you, we love you, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. It's been so much fun hanging out with you guys today. We hope we see you next time. Bye, guys.